How far is too far when it comes to keeping your children safe at school? Good evening, I'm Ann Nyberg. And I'm Keith Koontz and Bridgeport. A proposal is now on the table that would require a background check for anyone who even visits a public school. News 8's A.J. Walker has been talking to people on both sides of this debate. She joins us live with that story from News 8 Control. A.J. Keith and Ann, sources tell me city, the city of Bridgeport had already purchased three of the computer systems uh, with a grant money about a year and a half ago before they even brought it to the public uh, public's attention and that they didn't even discuss it with the Board of Ed. But the, today I spoke with Board of Ed members and they tell me they have the final say on this, although the city already has money in place to purchase this system and continue to make this program a go. Showing identification and getting a sticker soon won't be enough to pick up your child or enter a school in Bridgeport. You'll have to undergo a background check. It's outraging some people in Bridgeport who say the new system called FastPass invades parents' privacy and hurts more than it helps. We feel it's a hidden agenda on behalf of the city to um, want to come in and create, collect data for unknown reasons. A city spokesperson claims that's not the case. The fact is, FastPass is solely dedicated to ensuring sex offenders don't infiltrate our schools. But on a brochure from the company, it boasts the background checking system will also be able to check criminal history, although city officials say that's not what they intend to do. It does not look at anything that has to do with citizenship, does not look at anything that has to do with criminal background. It only looks up folks who are on a sex offender watch list. This can be programmed with internal watch lists. Maria Pereiro says city officials just brought in the new program without consulting parents on the advisory council or even members of the Board of Education. The first time we heard about this was October 8th at a committee meeting. We were sitting there like, what is this? Tammy Boyle, also of the Parents Advisory Council, says FastPass is going to discourage parents who have criminal backgrounds from coming to Bridgeport schools, not just sex offenders. They've made a debt to society, they paid their debt, and if they're willing to come out, be a part of their children's education, who are we to stop them? And a board member tells me they want to try fast pass out at Fairchild Wheeler High School next school year. And then if it's successful there, they will go ahead and try it out at other schools. But again, uh, the Board of Education will have the final say on this program, even though the city has already done so much work on it without them. For now, live in News 8 Control, A.J. Walker.